Why do people get insulin resistant? We know it develops due to genetic influences. If one of your parents was diabetic, you're more likely to develop insulin resistant at a younger age. So I see children in my practice or young people and one or more of their parents was a type two diabetic and they may present in their 20s or their 30s with having the same problem, which we find affects women and men as they age. And they have found that 47% of adults above the age 50 have insulin resistant so severely, they actually call it a separate condition, which is called metabolic syndrome. And metabolic syndrome is that specific risk factor for heart disease and stroke and certain cancers and high cholesterol. And again, getting back to all these health risks that have to do with weight, but they really have to do with insulin resistance. Again, 80 to 90% of the people I see have it to some degree. Many don't have the full-blown metabolic syndrome, but we see more subtle evidence of it even at an earlier age. In terms of the risk factors, we know that an abdominal distribution of weight is a risk factor for insulin resistance. And some people are genetically slim, but everyone in their family carries weight in the abdomen and they are more at risk for insulin resistance. And they may be ones who develop diabetes or these problems, even though they're not really overweight. We know for women, if a woman has a history of gestational diabetes, meaning that when she was pregnant, she was diabetic, she has a much higher risk of developing insulin resistance when she's older. I mentioned before the family history of diabetes. And in fact, if you have been told that you have pre-diabetes or borderline diabetes or polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is a form of insulin resistance, or type 2 diabetes, you have insulin resistance. You just may never have heard the term. And menopause, but especially surgical menopause, when the ovaries are removed you know, very suddenly, so a woman goes from having estrogen one day to none the next, is really significantly associated with the development of insulin resistance.